So earlier this morning, I was actually in the middle of working on a video on how Goran Dragic would fit with the Brooklyn Nets if he decided to sign with the team. Then while I was in the middle of editing the video, Goran Dragic decided to sign with the Brooklyn Nets. So of course, I'm going to go through with my original plan on breaking down Dragic's play and how it will fit on the Nets in this video. What's up guys, SCJ here, and if you enjoyed today's video, then make sure to give it a like as it helps out a lot, and if you're new to the channel and or enjoy the NBA, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. So before the Nets officially signed Drogic this morning, I mentioned in the original edit of the video how it was reported on Sunday that Steve Nash is taking the initiative and doing everything possible to help the Nets land Drogic. And according to the reports, the Nets met with Dragic on Friday and Nash was leading the way to try to help his team acquire the point guard that he once mentored in Phoenix. Another thing that I mentioned in the original edit of the video was this. I've seen people, or Nets fans I should say, wondering why the Nets would need someone like Dragic on their roster and I think that's honestly a silly question to ask. The biggest reason is of course that as of right now, Kyrie Irving still can't participate in home games due to the vaccine mandate. The next reason is that even when Irving is playing, the Nets could seriously use another ball handler to help with their offense. Yes, the team has Ben Simmons and Patty Mills along with Irving, but signing Dragic gives the Nets so much more flexibility and adds so much more value to this Nets team. Plus, we know Irving and Patty Mills work so much better as off-ball guards. If we look at Patty Mills' advanced statistics, he not only takes way more catch-and-shoot attempts, but he shoots a way better percentage on catch-and-shoot possessions as well, rather than pull-up possessions. Even when he does take two-point pull-up attempts, which is where he takes the majority of those pull-up attempts, he still isn't shooting a great percentage as he comes in with 37.4% shooting from there. Now, let's move on to Kyrie Irving and his numbers. We're going to look at his stats for last season as I don't think we've seen a good enough sample size from him this season yet, but Kyrie Irving's actually in a similar boat to Patty Mills. I'm sure all of us know that Kyrie is one of the all-time masters of the mid-range, so his shooting percentage on pull-up attempts is actually very good overall and phenomenal on two-point attempts, but he still didn't shoot a great percentage on pull-up three-pointers last season. And just like Patty Mills this season, he excelled so much more last season with James Harden running the offense and taking over ball handling duties. So while Irving and Patty Mills are great players on their own, having them used as off-ball options is only going to improve both of their play, as well as the play of the Nets team overall. I want to take a look back now though at one performance from Dragic and it came nearly 9 months ago or 9 months ago to this day depending on when this video is uploaded and that was his game 1 performance against the eventual champion Milwaukee Bucks in the first round of the playoffs last year. This play right here I want to bring up because even though the Nets have more than enough help in terms of getting shots close to the rim, Dragic's driving ability is one of the best parts of his game in my opinion at least offensively. This play right here with Tyler Hero is something I can easily see him doing with any one of the Nets shooters. It could be Curry, Kyrie, Patty Mills, Joe Harris, whoever, but the ability to have a great catch and shoot player who can also take over ball handling duties in Dragic would be huge for the Nets. Here you can see him working with Bam Adebayo as he gets the pass and a beautiful screen for two points and you can insert Drummond, Blake, Aldridge, or maybe even Nick Claxton in this situation if you're the Nets. This play with Jimmy is great, and I'm not sure if the defense will fall asleep on someone like Durant out there all the time like they did on Jimmy, but this shows how much damage Dragic and Durant could do if the defense is caught sleeping. This is a great mid-range play off a set screen by Deadman for Dragic, and he's able to hit the high floating jumpers, which is really big deal and could only help out the Nets even more. Here we see Dragic and his very good defensive ability on display. and you'll notice he never stops moving here. And you could substitute Simmons for Deadman here and someone like Durant for Iguodala and it would work out great. We'll end the highlights with Dragic's great work in the mid-range and I think a performance like this one from the first round last year really shows how Dragic is still a very serviceable guard and could provide so much to this Nets team down the stretch of the season and the playoffs. And I'm really excited to see how Dragic, along with the rest of the Nets' new pieces, can fit on the team and play together. So as a diehard and lifelong Nets fan, I'm totally ecstatic about this signing and Dragic will be a huge piece for this Nets team, especially until we see the vaccine mandate eventually lifted and Kyrie Irving has to remain sidelined for these home games now. Now that the Nets have landed Dragic, I'm sure you can see from what we talked about and broke down in this video that he has the ability to add a whole nother layer to this Nets team and can cause the play of the players around him to rise drastically. 
I think it's critical for the Nets to stay healthy, of course, and they have to make sure that they can integrate Ben Simmons into his new role in this Nets team and the Nets offense in less than just 25 games. But of course, this Nets team is extremely talented, and if they can't make things click this year, they'll have to set their sights on contending next season. So anyway guys, that's the breakdown on Goran Dragic and how much he can help the Brooklyn Nets. But I want to know what you guys think about Dragic's signing, the Brooklyn Nets, or just anything having to do with the team or what we talked about in this video down below in the comments section. If you made it all the way through the end of the video, then I appreciate it. And like I said before, if you like this video, then make sure to give it a like as it helps out a lot. And if you're new to the channel and or enjoy the NBA, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. That way you stay up to date with all the newest content on my channel. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'm SCJ, and I am out. Peace.